so I got a new uh, folding solar panel. This is a 60 watt all power uh, solar panel. You can see there. Just got it this morning. The sun is behind a lot of cloudy nastiness for solar panels. And we are putting out 15 watts at the moment. Uh, when the sun pops out behind the clouds a tiny bit, I was up to 20 plus, around 23 watts. This isn't bad for morning sun, uh, winter time. Uh, I have a 60, so this is about uh, 30, 33% of what it's rated for. At a bad angle. Um, <coughs> And it's putting actually a decent amount of power output through a really inefficient uh, grid time order. So, at a first glance and first use, I really like this uh, solar panel. It's actually producing quite a bit of power, I'm surprised. Um, uh, it charges a phone actually quite fast. And uh, I'm going to do some tests and I'll show you guys what I find. It's popped out a bit. It's only a few minutes later. The sun has popped out. Got some decent sunlight on the solar panel. 36.5, 37 watts out of uh, inefficient grid time inverter. This is only about 65% efficient, and maybe 70. <clears throat> so even at this angle, right, we get. That, that thing's probably pushing at least 45 watts, if not uh, more. As it gets cloudy again. So, so far, first time use of this panel. I don't know how good it is quality-wise, um, but I'll be using it and testing it. Um, I'm very, very happy with this purchase so far. Uh, I got this for $220. And... Uh, Seems to work extremely well, uh, as advertised. And I'll keep updating you guys if anything changes. Here comes the sun popping out again. <coughs> Not too much, actually. Yeah, here we go. Bit of a sunny break. Almost hit 40 watts output. Oh, there you go, 40 watts output. So this thing can easily do its 60 watts that it claims it can do, which is extremely impressive. 41.6, 42, 43. <coughs> wow. I am very, very happy with this uh, solar panel. Just so you guys can see, this is the good time I'm using, so you can uh, find out the efficiency yourself. What they claim is not true on their websites, but anyways. Right. Another thing you could do with this uh, 60 watt panel, kind of running through this long cord. Just wanted to note that this is a 70 amp hour, or sorry, 80 amp hour bank of lipos. So you got 11.1. Let's see what will happen if I connect this filler panel to it. I have the automatic balancer on, and it is balancing. Let's see. Ah, so it went from 11.1 .1 to, all right, 11.81 to 11.87. So it is in fact charging. And I'll leave this on for a few minutes, 11.88 almost. <coughs> I'll leave that on there for a bit, because this is gonna be my setup for camping. I'm going to get uh, a regulator to regulate only up to 12.5 volts. Um, right now it's just 18 volts. This is able to bring this up to 18 volts, but this would take literally about a day and a half, two days, because uh, I've discharged this to about 50% almost. Not quite, but anyways. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Panel hooked up again. Running through this wire all the way over to here. 
I'm puffing up my tires for a long trip. And I've already popped up two tires, so my 22 amp hour battery is sitting at around 12.8 volts. And let's clip this on and see what kind of charge we get just for a little experiment here. <coughs> went up for a bit and went right back down. Maybe that's just cloud coverage. <coughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna take the pump and move to another tire. I'm gonna keep pumping and see how this uh, solar panel helps. What it looks like, all packaged up. I just have my carabiners all hooked up to the side. But this is it. That 60 watt massive solar panel goes down to this little pack, and I'd say lots of weight. Like, if I were to just guess, maybe a pound or two, something like that. It's not very heavy. Um, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys uh, what it was all uh, wrapped up and in its uh, packing form.